Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Grace and peace to all the viewers of Shalom World. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am very happy to welcome you all to the Word of God ministry of Thunder of God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Dear brothers and sisters, today, Romer chapter 16, verse 20, there we read, God, the source of our peace, will soon crush down Satan under your feet. Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 10, verses 17 to 19. The 70 returned with joy and said, Lord, even the demons were subject to us in your mighty name. Jesus said to them, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. I have given you the authority to trample over snakes, scorpions, and all the powers of the enemy. Nothing will harm you. Dear friends, when you hear the word of God, when you attend this ministry now, this will take place. This will happen from your house, from your personal areas, from your mind. All the attacks of the devil will flee away in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Now we are entering to the praise and worship session. If possible, I appeal to you all to stand up and join together. Hallelujah. Glory. Fire. Anointing. We will in your name. We will conquer in your name. Fire. And proclaim that Jesus reigns. And proclaim that Jesus reigns. Glory, glory to the Lamb. Glory, glory to the Lamb. You take us to the Lamb. You take us to the Lamb. We will conquer in your name. We will conquer in your name. And proclaim that Jesus reigns. And proclaim that Jesus reigns. Hail, hail, the light of Judah. Hail, hail, the light of Judah. How wonderful you are. How wonderful you are. Hail, hail, the light of Judah. Hail, hail, the light of Judah. How powerful you are. How powerful you are. Hail, hail, the light of Judah. Hail, hail, the light of Judah. How wonderful you are. Oh, Jesus, we love you, Jesus. Hail, hail, the light of Judah. How powerful you are. How powerful you are. How powerful you are. How powerful you are. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. 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 You are my Savior. You are my Savior. You are my Savior. Savior. Glory, glory to the Lamb. Glory, glory to the Lamb. You take us to the Lamb. You take us to the Lamb. We will conquer in your name. We will conquer in your name. And proclaim that Jesus reigns. 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 Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. 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 Say the name of Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Repeat the name of Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Jesus, we praise the Lord. Mighty name Jesus all together Jesus call again Jesus 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 come to us our Lord Jesus there is deliverance Jesus there is deliverance Jesus there is deliverance 
Bless all those who hear these words with a new, a fresh outpouring of Holy Spirit. Help us all to understand the divine wisdom. Mother Mary, pray, pray for, for us. Saint Joseph, pray, pray for us. All the saints and angels, pray, pray for us. us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, As it was, was in the beginning, is, is now, now, and ever shall be, world, world without end. end. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Please be seated. Dear friends, I hope you all are, you all are fine. I pray, let it be so. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today, we are thinking about why we don't have the taste for word of God. Many of us are not thirsty for word of God. Many of us don't feel hunger for word of God. Some of us, are, some of us feel disgust with the word of God. A strong feeling of contempt. A spirit of hatredness against the spiritual things. When we see spiritual matters, when we see some spiritual signs, when we hear divine words, many feel a feeling of anger, something that works against it. We don't feel comfort. We don't feel enthusiasm. Why? I was thinking over that. And Holy Spirit revealed me certain Bible truths regarding that. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 14. There, Holy Spirit says that a natural man, a man who is led by the spirit of this world, the spirit of the flesh, a man who is led by the spirit of the flesh 
cannot enjoy the word of god let us hear the word those who are unspiritual do not receive the gifts of god's spirit for they are foolishness to them and they are unable to understand them because they are spiritually discerned hallelujah hallelujah not only it is unacceptable to them but also it is foolish to them it is stupidity for them word of god jesus our lord and our savior said in john chapter 6 verse 63 it is the spirit that gives life flesh is of no avail the words which i have spoken to you are spirit and life but if we are taken up by the spirit of this world if we are worldly man if we are a natural man if we are unspiritual then we feel these things are folly dear friends it is a disaster in our life we have to recognize that second corinthians chapter 4 verses 3 and 4 there the holy spirit reveals that we are not in a safe condition if we feel disgust to the word of god we must understand that we are under the bondages of evil spirits we are under the bondages of sin we are under the bondages of the spirit of the world let us read second corinthians chapter 4 verse 3 and 4 and even if our gospel is veiled it is veiled to those who are perishing in their case the god of this world has blinded the minds of the unbelievers to keep them from seeing the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ who is the image of God it is not a merit for us it is not a positive uh, positive thing about us it is not like that if we are not church going if we are not participating in spiritual matters if we are not take pleasure if we are not taking pleasure in word of god we have to understand that we are perishing we are perishing even though we may get a high salary we may be in a high position we may be getting promotions we in, in our life worldly life we may be growing but the word of god says you are perishing if you do not feel that that enthusiasm that taste to the word of god for the divine things the spirit of this world blinded their eyes the spirit of this world blinded their eyes once again we hear from second corinthians chapter 4 verse 3 and 4 and even if our gospel is veiled oh to so many gospel is veiled it is blocked they don't understand they don't enjoy they are not interested sometime we feel tired if we if we are at, if we are in a concert we are very happy if we are in a film we are very happy but if we attend a spiritual uh, banquet then there we are tired there we feel disgust because the the spirit of this world blinded our eyes it is everything is the the divine things are un, it is veiled to us it is veiled to us continue the reading it is veiled to those who are perishing see you may be enjoying the life but the eternal life is lost for you the eternal life is stolen from you you are perishing your eternal life is perishing 
then word of god says in their case the god of this world has blinded the minds of the unbelievers to keep them from seeing the light of the gospel of the glory of christ who is the image of god hallelujah 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 friends if we are living according to the desires of the flesh we are perishing romer chapter 8 verses 7 and 8 again assert this fact if you set your mind on flesh you are hostile to your god not only you are not enjoying the divine things you are really you are an enemy you are hostile to your god there we read like this for this reason the mind that is set on the flesh is hostile to god it does not submit to god's law indeed it cannot and those who are in the flesh cannot please god my god in our daily life sometimes we take it very simple we ignore these things but at the end of the life we will realize how great it was hosea chapter 5 verse 4 their deeds do not permit them to return to their god for the spirit of whoredom is within them and they do not know the lord dear brothers and sisters in jesus if we are living according to our own desires if we are living according to the whims and fancies of this world you may be enjoying for a time being but you must understand you are losing your eternity you are losing your eternal life you are perishing that is what the word of god tells us this day now let us pray for a moment Oh heavenly father now we are before you in this world we are all deceived by the spirit of darkness now we are before you help our father hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. now is the time for change come and now is the time to give your heart come jesus 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 come and now is the time for change time to give your heart oh my dear friends now if we pray in a, with a sincere heart holy spirit will give holy spirit will give you a new heart to love your father to follow the precept of the word of god to follow the path of eternal life if possible stand up please and hold your hold your hands close your eyes join with this prayer holy spirit is calling you jesus is calling you now is the time to give your heart come now is the time for change the time to give your heart oh 
heavenly father on this earth every now and then we went astray from your divine path always we are deceived by the spirit of this world now we are in perish oh lord now is the time for change come now is the time to give your is the time for change come now is the time to give your heart romar chapter 16 verse 20 god our source of peace will soon crush down satan under your feet praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah beloved jesus my beloved jesus we are all busy with the worldly things every now and then we will think that we will pray a little more but most of the time we can't because our heart take pleasure in worldly things help us to bring our hearts to you lord jesus you to call our sins and you went to calvary and you died for us you died for me help us to remember your sacrifice let us raise our hands and adore the crucified Christ hallelujah 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 crucified Jesus behind the stone Jesus you live to die rejected and alone Jesus like rose, trampled on the ground you took the fall and thought of me above all rejected and alone we like pray. a rose we trampled pray. on the ground you took the fall and thought of me above all like a rose trampled on the ground you 
took the fall and thought of me above all. Now, brethren, let us ask a favor. Let us ask for a grace. To love Jesus more and more. During the time of benediction, once again, raise your hands and call upon the name of Jesus. Call upon the name of Jesus. Ask you as it is possible for you do and call his name hallelujah hallelujah Jesus, Jesus Jesus laid behind a stone you live to die rejected and alone like a rose trampled on the ground you took the fall and thought of me above all.